Hello and welcome everybody. This is Categorizes from GamerFusion.com and today I'm here to bring you the specialist for Black Ops 3. So the very first specialist is called Ruin. Ruin is a military man as you do see. Every single specialist does have two different traits that they can do. Uh, so you know if you don't like the first one you can use the second one and you know so on and so on but you can only use one specialist at a time so the very first special that ruin does have he has the gravity spikes the gravity spikes uh, slams into the ground and creates an explosive shock wave so it is pretty good to use like if you're trying to cap a flag or if enemies are trying to cap a flag and there's a bunch of them you can use them on them then the second one is overdrive overdrive is going to be used a lot um, inside this game because it creates a burst of speed in which you can move and you have like a lot of adrenaline that can move fast so you will probably see that a lot in this game the second specialist is called Serap I think uh, I, I think that's how you say her name uh, I'm not really sure but she will also be used a lot because of the simple fact of her perks um, she's a Asian lady I'm pretty sure um, so, the the good thing about specialists is they have different types of costumes that you'll throw out and see. So then, whenever you're fighting them in the battlefield, you'll know what specials that they do uh, contain, which is a pretty cool effect into this game um, because we've never really seen it before. So, like I said, she does have two different specials that she can use. So let's get straight into the very first one. The very first one that she uses is called a Annihilator. The Annihilator is like a one-shot hand cannon kill. If it hits you right on, then you die instantly. It contains seven shots. So, you know, it takes a second, but you can get it. The second shot, this well, the second special is called Combat Focus. It's easier to get score streaks, so it's pretty much like Hardline from other Call of Duties, but it's inside of a special this time. So, I mean, it's kind of helpful to have to get your super back faster. So, the third specialist that we know of is called Outrider. Outrider reminds all of us of, like, an Assassin's Creed type character. Um, so, she looks pretty cool. Um, a lot of people like to use her. Her weapons choice, uh, I'm not a big fan of. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not really into her specials but you know i've seen a lot of people playing as her so you know a lot of people like her um i don't know if it's just because of her outfit because she does remind of everybody in assassin's creed type ninja look or if they was just fan of you know the specials themselves but anyways you know she does have two specials so one of them we will be seeing in one second it is called the sparrow. The sparrow is an explosive tip bow, um, like bow and arrow type thing. It has explosive tips, so it reminds you of like the crossbow from Black Ops 2, but it is into a special, which is actually pretty cool. The next one that she does have is called Vision Pulse. Vision Pulse is a ping in which you can hit it, and any any uh, any nearby enemy will turn red for you and you'll be able to see them for a little bit of time until or you can kill them the fourth special specialist is probably one of the most overpowered that i've seen play just because of the simple fact of their special that they do use their special is kind of you know overpowered it does need to be nerfed but they'll probably get that later on in the future and everything else but it's a really really cool um, you know type of dynamic of this um, special it is a robot as you do see it's a combat fighter you know you kind of figure that especially since you know it's in the future so you figure that you would see more of these anyways the very first score streak or the specialist streak that they have is called scythe it is a chain gun that contains 200 shots this is one of the reasons why I say it's overpowered just because of you know it has so much shots inside of that and it only takes a few bullets to kill somebody so it is actually really really good to use and you probably see it often whenever you're playing the game the second one is called psychosis um, pretty much this one is a decoy mechanism where he creates three decoys of himself and sends them out and you have to try to decide which one is which and try to kill the right one the fifth one is called Prophet. Prophet is 
a not very used person just because of his score streaks. You will mostly see these uh, this dude used as a sniper just because one of his score streaks that he does have. So you will mostly see him as a sniper, which is not a bad thing. Um, but anyways, you know, he does have two score streaks. The very first one, um, it's okay. Um, I didn't really see it a lot playing, but the second one, it is used often. Like I said, it's used mostly often by snipers. All right, let's get straight on into it. The very first one is called Tempest. It fires an uh, arc of electricity and can bounce to nearby enemies within the range. Um, it I don't know if it kills them, if it just stuns them. Like I said, I've never really seen it into action. But it also does take a second before it can fire again. So that is one thing that's not very good, um, especially if you're in a big battle. The second one, which a lot of snipers use, well, are probably going to use, is called Glitch. Glitch teleports you back a few seconds than what you was. So like if you're in the middle of a battle, you know, if you're dying or something else and you have that super, you can hit it and it'll glitch you back a few seconds. So like I said, it's very good to use in the middle of battle just because you have that you know, sense of be able to teleport to a different, you know, backwards in time a little bit. So that is very good to use. The sixth uh, one that we know of is called Nomad. Uh, Nomad will be used a lot because of the, you know, the specials that he can do. Now, he is probably, him and the robot is probably going to be the mo two most used specials just because of their, you know, what they can do. Um, you will probably see them mostly, you know, two of the most in the game. Uh, now, one of his score streaks is kind of like the chain gun that we've seen. Uh, now, it's not in the sense that it's exactly the same. It's in the sense that it is kind of overpowered. Uh, like I said, you'll see it in one second about whenever we get into it. But just that in its sense, I feel like it's overpowered and needs to be nerfed in the future. But, you know, I can't really say nothing because the game hasn't really came out yet, so we haven't seen the final touch. But in any case, let's get straight on into it. The first one he does have is called Hive. It shoots, uh, shoots nanodrome nades that stick to anywhere on a surface, and as soon as an enemy gets nearby, they almost die instantly because the nanodromes do kill them right away. So that is a pretty cool feature, but you probably won't see it a lot on this character just because of the simple fact of his next one. The next one is called Rejack. Rejack um, is pretty much an old perk called Last Stand. Um, a lot of people remember Last Stand because whenever they're on the ground, you can shoot and try to do that. But if you have this, you can uh, tap it and green smoke will pop out and you'll come back to life. Uh, if you're on a killing streak or score streak, you will not lose that and everything else. So it's kind of overpowered. Now, the unknown. We that was only six of the specialists, and it is confirmed that there is nine specialists. So that three specials are not known yet. So we you know we don't know how to, you know, rate them or anything else and see how they are because we, you know, we don't know what is in the unknown. So we still have three more characters that can be or that are going to be put out but we just don't know what they are yet. So anyways, I hope you do enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.